Welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed four important rays that are used to construct images in curved surfaces. The first ray was a ray parallel to the principal axis, which was reflected through F for concave mirrors, or it was appearing to emerge from F for convex mirrors. The second ray was a ray through C, or which was appearing to be directed to C for convex mirror. It will be reflected along its own path, either in convex mirror or in concave mirrors. Then the third ray is a ray incident at the pole, making an angle with the principal axis. Then it will follow the law of reflection, where the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Then the third ray or the fourth ray is a ray directed through F, all appearing to be directed through F, then it will be reflected parallel to the principal axis. Now in this lesson, we are going to use those four rays to construct images on uh, concave mirrors, and then we are going to determine the characteristics of those images formed. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to use any of the two rays that we have just discussed to construct an image of an object which is at infinity. Then use the same same rays to construct an image of an object which is at point C, that is the center of curvature. Then finally, construct an image of an object which is beyond C. So the first object that we are going to consider is an object at infinity. And an object at infinity, a good example is like the sun, and the rays from that object are not parallel to the principal axis. So in this case, if you have two rays from infinity, that is the first ray, then you have another ray from infinity, which are parallel but not parallel to the principal axis. And now when they get reflected, they will converge at a point at the focal plane. So if you have a focal plane like this one here, let's say this is our focal plane. I'm drawing it virtually. So if you have a focal plane like that one, then the first ray here will get converged at a point at that focal plane. Like in this case, you can have it like that. So this is a ray, you draw an arrow. Then now the second ray will also converge at the same point on that focal plane, like this one here. And that one, but this one here. So these rays must obey all the laws of reflection. So you can have that ray like that. Now this ray should also have an arrow then now where they meet, that will be the tip of the image which is formed. Like in this case, they will be, they will form an image like this one here. Let me draw using the black pen. So they will form an image like that. So this is the image which is formed and then the object was at infinity. So here, if we can now give the characteristic of this image which is formed, one, this image is very small from the object. Like if this is the sun which is formed like this, it's very small than the object of the sun. Then this image is formed at F. Then again, this image is upside down and this image is real. And now if you can look at those characteristics is that one, the image is real. Then two, the image is formed at F. Three, the image is inverted. Then four, the image is smaller than the object. Very important to note. So the second object that we want to consider is an object at the center of curvature. And if we want to trace the image of an object at the center of curvature, we are going to use any of the two rays that we discussed earlier. If we consider a ray from the tip parallel to the principal axis, then it will get reflected through F. So in this case, this is the ray through from the tip of the object parallel to the principal axis. Then this ray will get reflected through F. 
and if it get reflected through f like this then this array then now another ray that we are going to consider is array from the tip of the object through f and if we have an, an array from the tip of the object through f then it will be reflected parallel to the principal axis so in this case it will go like that and then it will get reflected through the principal axis like that so in this case if it get reflected like that now where they meet remember this array it should have arrows where they meet that will be the tip of the image which is formed like in this case this is the tip of the image which is formed where they meet so this is an image here this is an image this is an object and now what can you see the image distance from the mirror is the same as the object distance from the mirror the size of the image is almost is even equal to the size of the object and then the image is inverted so can we look at the characteristics in this case the first characteristic is that the image is at c the image is formed at point c that's correct from what we have drawn then the image is real it's formed by real rays then this image is inverted it's upside down then finally the image is the same size as the object as we can see from the diagram what we've got is the same thing that we already have here then now the third object that we can consider is an object beyond c so this means this object is behind the center of curvature and in this case if we use any of the two rays that we discussed earlier a ray which is parallel to the principal axis like that will be reflected through f so this one will be reflected through f like that that is the first ray and the second ray we can consider a ray through c which will be reflected along its own path like in this case if you have a ray from that point through c it should pass at that point c so if you have it like this and it's passing through c this ray we said it will get reflected to the mirror then get reflected back like that now where these two rays meet that will be the position of the image which will be formed and of course here we can now draw it where they meet that will be the tip so this will be the tip of the image which is formed so this is the image and then this was the object then now from here we can try to give the characteristics of this image formed one this image is real this image is real let me use this pen one the image is real then two the image is inverted it's upside down then three the image is in between it's between c and f and then four this image is smaller than the object remember look at the object is very big then this one is now smaller than the object and now we can look at them if they reconcile with what we have got here one the image formed between c and f that is correct then two the image is real it's formed by real rays then three the image is inverted it's upside down then four the image is smaller than the object as you can see the object is very large the image formed is very small so that marks the end of our lesson today in the next lesson we will discuss an image formed when object is placed between c and f and the characteristics for that then we also consider an image which is formed when object is placed between f and the pole then we are going to look at where it will be formed its characteristics then finally we will consider an image formed when an object is placed at f remember rays from infinity formed an image at f now where will an object at f form its image 
that's what we are going to consider stay tuned at ECLM learning simplified <laughs>